What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. Um, in this video, I finally got my hands on some Adams car shampoo. And we're gonna be testing this stuff out. I've never used it before. And I've had a couple of my subscribers tell me that this stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's their favorite car shampoo. Uh, from what I'm understanding, there's absolutely no gloss enhancers in this stuff. It's strictly just a car wash that's it it's just designed to wash your car it's not going to strip your wax your sealant it doesn't have any waxes in it. it doesn't have any gloss enhancers in it so it's just a really good baseline car wash uh, i'm going to go over a little bit here on the bottle uh it says uh, adam's car shampoo is a concentrated high performance ph neutral soap that lubricates as you wash our formula prevents spotting even when washing in direct sun or with hard water. I will be in direct sun, but it's it's really it's cool out right now. It's early in the morning. Uh, the sun's not really that intense, but it is direct sun, so we'll see how it works. You know, does in direct sun there. Uh, let's see. Use with Adam's foam gun or Adam's foam cannon for best results. I don't have either of those. You guys know I got the Soap Shooter 3000. From what I heard, this stuff is awesome in the foam cannon. Um, Let's see what we got here. Safely removes dirt, pollen, soot, and other contaminants. Does not remove wax or sealants or dry out plastic and rubber. Creates a huge amount of suds in the bucket or foam gun. Rinses clean without streaks. So, for all you guys that know, what I look for in car shampoos is lubrication, cleaning ability, rinsing. Last one's foam, uh, but you know, everyone loves the foam, so see if we can get some good foam out of this stuff with my setup. Uh, I'm going to quickly go over the instructions real quick. Uh, pour one to two ounces of Adam's car shampoo directly onto the Adam's wash pad. I don't have Adam's wash pad, but that's all right. Spray hose directly into wash pad to disperse shampoo and create suds. Fill bucket two thirds full with water. Okay, so it doesn't tell you like other shampoos, one ounce to five gallons. It's just telling you fill bucket two thirds of the way full. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, rinse vehicle, okay, boom, boom, boom. To ease drying, enhance gloss, spray a fine mist of Adam's detail spray. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Okay. Uh, for the foam cannon, it says, fill canister ne nearly full with water, pour three to four ounces of Adam's car shampoo into canister. Okay, so three to four ounces is, is a lot, mainly because this, I don't think this was an actual foam shampoo. Uh, a lot of the foam ones, you one to two, uh, two ounces, so. You're gonna be using four ounces, so you might go through this quickly. Okay, attach bro nose, pressure washer, squeeze. Okay, so common sense warning. Use Adam's two bucket wash method with grit guards to minimize wash induced damage. Okay, we're not using two buckets. I rinse my mitt out before I put it back into the bucket, so I've never been a two bucket guy. So that's it for the car Adam's car shampoo. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to try this stuff. I've had it on my shelf for the past two months and I just haven't been able to use it. I'm gonna be using it on my GSX. You know, I'll give you guys a quick walk around. It's fairly dirty. The last time I washed it was easily two and a half months ago. Uh, it is dirty. There's fingerprints from my son all over the front of the car. It's really dusty. It's got paint, uh, like paint residue from when I went to the racetrack and they wrote the numbers all over the windows. I just wiped them off. There's, it, it's, it's filthy. So. I want to see what this stuff can do. Uh, I do have a sealant on the car right now, so we'll see if that affects the sealant at all. It says it shouldn't, so I'm looking forward to testing that out. So with that being said, let me show you guys what we're working with today. So this is what I'm going to be using the Adams car shampoo on my GSX. Give you guys a quick walk around. Let's show you. Hopefully you guys can see. I mean, it's it is fairly dusty. Got some fingerprints and bug guts on the front. It is pretty dirty. Wheels are absolutely filthy. I'll get those cleaned up. You can kind of see there's still some residue left from the from the track. It's fair share of dust on top bird poop I mean it's it's hard to see on camera but there you go white stuff 
from the, from the paint marker all over it. Not terrible, but she is dirty. Like I said, it's been two and a half months. So we're gonna put the Adams car shampoo to test on this thing. See what we got going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little cart set up and uh, we'll get to mixing, set up the foam cannon and go from there. All right, so we're gonna get set up here uh, with the Adams car shampoo. It says one to two ounces in the bucket. I like to go on the heavier side. So we're gonna go two ounces in the bucket which is over here give it a quick smell test mmm this stuff smells good I will pour it onto the rag as they specified it's really it's got a thick texture to it so obviously not all of it's going to come out in there you're going to have to get your measuring cup in there Around. All right, we got two ounces in our bucket. Now I got the Soap Shooter 3000 filled up with hot tap water from my sink, as hot as it can go. We're gonna do four ounces. Once again, I apologize for the traffic noise. I kind of live on a busy street. I try to talk over it, so if I talk, sound like I'm talking really loud, then you guys know that I'm talking over the traffic, hopefully. Four ounces in the... Smells really, really good. I love the smell of this stuff. All right, I'll take this over here and swish it around in my bucket, get a little bit of extra. extra in there, wipe it out with my rag, fine with me. So that's about how much I got left. So you're lucky to, if you do a foam cannon and bucket wash, you probably get three washes out of it. Uh, I mean, not much, but it's not that expensive. All right, I'm gonna get this mixed up in the foam cannon. I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna shoot. I just realized I didn't show you guys the bucket. So let's see how well this stuff sets up in the bucket. Grab my pressure washer here. Backfire, that'll love it. Wash pads are doing backflips in there. All right. Let's see what kind of lubrication we got in here. Tons of lubrication. Very slick, very, very slick. It feels like, I don't know, the slickness is different than some of the other slick shampoos that I've used. It, it feels like a thicker slickness if that makes any sense uh, very very slick all right so I'm ready to foam this baby all right time to foam guys I've got four ounces of Adams car shampoo in my foam can and I filled it up to right around 25 26 ounces with uh, warm water out of my faucet Four ounces of atoms. Let's see what this stuff can do.
Not bad, not bad. Let's bring you guys in. Sorry for my hand. Not bad at all. Some decent, some decent foam. Nice even coverage. Had better, but also had worse. Smells really good. Oh, I can smell it coming off the car. It smells really good. I like that. So, not bad at all. Not bad at all. We go ahead and we go ahead and get it all washed up. All right, so I just wanted to here give you a quick little clip. Got the car all washed with the Adams car shampoo. Dried it off real quick. The sun's actually hotter than I expected, so I just want to get into the garage real quick so I can dry the wheels off with my air compressor and and, and finish that up. But just want to give you a quick walk around. Adams did a great job cleaning. Rinse is very well, very clean. The shining gloss is still there my protection is there still so that's a good plus so yep let's get it in the garage i'll finish drying it off then we'll go to the final thoughts and we are back with my final thoughts on the adams car shampoo all right let's let's start with number one lubricity outstanding this has tons and tons of lubrication. And like I was saying, like some other car shampoos, the lubricity is there, you can feel it. It's nice and slick. The slickness to this is different. It feels like a thick slickness, if that makes sense. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. In my hand, it feels like a, there's a thicker layer of lubrication on my hand when I'm, when I'm working it through my hand and fingertips. So the lubrication is outstanding, definite, a plus in, in lubrication um, cleaning ability it did an outstanding job cleaning the car and you know this is a good shampoo for just strictly cleaning your car you know it's not gonna add this to the paint it's not gonna make it shine here and there and, and do that all these enhances enhancers in the car wash is strictly just a cleansing car wash and it did absolutely fantastic job Definite A there, uh, A plus there. I mean, it did an outstanding job cleaning the car. Uh, let's see, rinsing, uh, A plus. Uh, this stuff rinses off. I mean, so clean. It's probably one of the best car shampoos that I've used. The rinse wise, how it rinses. Um, a lot of other shampoos, like as I'm rinsing it, you watch the water, and the water seems to be. I don't know oily not oily but so you got to sit there and rinse it and rinse it and rinse it and rinse it until the water seems like it's cleaner i don't know that's the best way i can describe it but it rinses as soon as you rinse it off it 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 disappears and it's no longer there i don't have to sit on a panel and make sure i you know rinse it a plus on rinsing it rinses fantastic uh last subject foam cannon uh it, it didn't give me the thickest foam have I had thicker foam with other shampoos? Absolutely. Uh, have I had thinner foam? Absolutely. So I would give it a solid B in my setup. Everybody's setup's different. So, I mean, I know there's people out there that get absolutely tons of thick foam with this and theirs. But for mine, my Harbor Freight Portland with my little Amazon foam cannon, it did, it did okay. Uh, it smells fantastic. Uh, as I was foaming the car, I mean, you just get this fresh, clean... Uh, like blueberry or like rat um like raspberry i don't know it, it smells really good so that's always a plus you get that pleasant smell while you're foaming and washing now the only downside is i used almost half the bottle on one wash so you'll get about depending on if you use it in your foam cannon or not if you're just using the the bucket method i mean you can get up to eight washes um, but if you're using the foam cannon and the bucket, 
you, you look to about two washes, uh, pretty much out of a bottle. So um, that's the only downside I can think of of this stuff. Uh, so Adams, it's great shampoo, great shampoo right here. Uh, I want to thank all you guys for coming along with me on my my Adams journey. Uh, MTM, if you watch this, you're right. It's outstanding shampoo. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys want to hit the subscribe button, smash it down below. While you're there, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And click that little bell. That way, when I upload more videos, you guys get notified. With that being said, you guys all have a great day, evening, night. Whatever it is, where you're at watching. And I will catch you all on the next video.